Hello, my name is Omar and I'm a programmer. Today I'm going to show you how to use JavaScript to make multiplication tables. Um, as you can see, I have some boilerplate HTML code set up on a text file. I'm using TextEdit just for convenience sake and just to show you what it's all about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a JavaScript right in the body here. I'm going to press a tab for a couple of times and I'll just show you how it's done. I'm going to, I already have the code and I'm just going to paste it and uh, I'll tell you what each step means. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the JavaScript code and explain it to you. So the first uh, thing is that we need to get the number of rows and the number of columns from the user. And uh, the way we do that is prompt the user to enter the number of rows and the default will be 10. And the same thing for the columns, the default will be 10. Uh, if it's not a number, we'll tell the user that it's not a number that they entered. If uh, any of them are less than one, we'll tell them that it can't be zero because you can't have a negative number of multiplication tables. Um, or at least I don't want that right now. Uh, if there's too many rows or columns, we want to put a limit on that too. And so that's why I added this line. You don't have to, but I think it's a good idea if you do. If everything is good, we're going to go ahead and write the tables. So we have, uh, I set up a table HTML and a row HTML. So for the first row, or rather for the rows, we have a loop that's set up that goes from zero to the number of rows, and it goes incrementally by one. And we have the same thing for the columns. And in every iteration of the loop, we're going to add a data table to the table, a data, I'm sorry, a, a, a data section to the table. And we're going to bold it, and we're going to give it the columns value, because that is, that's going to be on the top of the table. And we're going to do the same thing for the rows as well. And as long as they're not zero, if, it, if it's part of the multiplication table, we're going to, in a data section, we're going to put the row multiplied by the column. And then we're going to close off that tag. And then the table HTML will be the row, including the row HTML. And then we're going to close off that row as well. And then we're going to go ahead and use document.write. I know some, some people say it's not a good idea, but I'm just showing this to you for convenience sake. I'm going to use document.write and write a table border one and we're going to put the table html that we just created using our loops and we're going to close off that table tag at the end and you close off your script tag and then you're done i'm omar and i just showed you how to use javascript to make multiplication tables have a good day